Hey guys, welcome to yet another session by Scalo. In this session, we'll be looking into longest substring without repeating characters, and we're going to solve this particular problem. So before we move on, please make sure to subscribe to Scalo's YouTube channel so that you don't miss our upcoming videos, and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. And if you have any queries, leave a comment down below, and we would love to help you out with the answers. So now let's understand what will be covered in this session. First of all, we'll be looking into a problem statement in the topic which I just said, which is longest substring without repeating characters. Then we will be solving them by different approaches. First of all, we'll be looking into a brute force approach. Then we'll be looking into a sliding window approach and also a optimized sliding window approach. So all of these implementations will be done using Python. And if you want to look into other implementations using Java or C++, check out interview bit blog and that link is provided in the description. So now without any delays, let's begin with the session. Okay guys, first let's understand the problem statement of the longest substring without repeating characters. So let's take a string S, okay? So this is the string S, okay? So this, the task to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So how long a substring is there without repeating any characters? For example, in this case, uh, it is three. And in this case, again, it is three, okay? Because A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. Okay, so basically B, B is characters which got repeated. This W, W is characters got repeated and another W, okay. So now A, B, C is the longest substring without repeating characters among all the substrings. So A, B, C, again A is repeated. So in this case, P, W, no, but W, K, E, so or K, E, W. So this is the longest substring. So W, K is the longest substring without repeating characters. So this is basically the example which we wanted to show you, okay? So now let's take, uh, for example, substring is a contiguous sequence of characters with a string. Uh, view is a substring of string interview bit. So even though interview bit is a regular uh, term with not many uh, repeating characters immediately, for example, one uh, repeating character is I and T, one is I and I. Uh, so it would be I N T E R V I. Yeah, so till this, it would be a non repeating character because then E will be repeated. Okay. Like, so you will basically have to look into like that. Uh, so now this is the problem statement. Now, given any string, we'll have to figure out the longest substring without any repeating characters within the other substrings okay so now there are three different approaches there's brute force there is sliding window and there is an optimized sliding window let's first understand all of these methods and then move on to the code implementation so first of all the simplest approach is to solve this problem is to generate all the substrings of the given uh, string and among all the substrings having all unique characters written from the maximum length so to put it simply let's look at the algorithm so to generate or uh, generate all the substring uh, of a string loop from the start till the end uh, index of the string so let us consider the start index is i and index is j so run a nested loop i is equal to zero to n minus one and j is equal to i plus one till n so basically what happens is it will go from the very start the entire thing will be a substring and then one letter less one letter less one letter less one letter less so it will basically look into all the substrings and make sure that all the substrings are taken into account so now once all the substrings are taken to check if the substring contains all unique characters put all the characters in the set one by one if any of the characters are already present in the set skip the string else consider its length and maximize it so now every character will be put into a set and that set would be uh, basically the uh, thing which will be used to check these strings and if there is a character repeating that will be excluded and then they move on to the next string until and unless they find a, uh, a substring with all unique characters in it right so this is what the brute force approach is it's pretty straightforward second comes the sliding window approach okay let's look at this particular so this is the algorithm uh, if you guys want just have a look at it I'll be showing you how exactly it works from here. So input string over here is Java concept of the day. Character array over here. So repeated. So J A B A gets repeated. Okay. So let's ignore that. Let's move on to a V because anyway A and A is repeating. So let's move on to V. So now V A C O N. Then C comes back. So now C is repeating. So now it's a five letter character without any repeating substring. So right now this would be considered the actual answer until they check the next one so now i will be taken from o now because the last repeating character was c so now it will be taken from o so o n c e p t and o and o are repeating characters 
okay so now repositioning the eye so the eye is repositioned to the same position from this place to this because it's o and then they start from the next letter which is n and n c p t o f and t is repeating so now the eye will be moved to the character before the repeating character which is o then o f t h e d a y okay so now the longest substring without repeated characters is of the day if this was smaller than this then this would be taken into account if this was smaller than this then this would be taken into account that's how sliding window approach works it goes from the side to see the complete uh, substring so now there's an optimized sliding window approach it's the same approach but a little more optimized so initially both i and j are initialized to zero okay i and j are initialized to zero expand the window one by one uh, and check there are repeated characters uh, stop when you find one so abc so a is i j is a so a i and j are a a so this is how you figure out so i and j is equal to a so that basically means the character is repeating so a b c are non-repeating characters so now start shrinking the window till there is no repeated character so i is taken uh, till b because now uh, from a to i so now b c a are non-repeating characters so now check again back to this so b c a but again a is repeating so now again move the i till a non-repeating character and then a b then again move the i to a non-repeating character then b a c then again move the i to a non-repeating character then c a so this is the optimized sliding window approach which is even more better which basically takes lesser time than this approach which is sliding window approach okay so in this case they're using a hash set as a sliding window right in this case it's by using a regular array so by using a hash set what they are doing is they are reducing the time taken to run the program which will take lesser processing power and uh, also it will basically give you the approach uh, give you the uh, process uh, the result in a very shorter time than the sliding window approach because okay, these are the three different approaches i think you understood how the three different approach works uh, if you want to look at the algorithm you can take a look pause and look at it so initialize left is zero right zero which is basically i is zero j is zero then initialize the ha hash set to store all the characters of the current window so index right toward n and then the uh, right one more Moves, and if it finds a repeating character it stops there and then the i is taken to the next character so that there is no repeating uh, character so then that is taken and then the same process is done again so this is optimized sliding window now let us look at the code of all three of them one by one and try to execute them and understand how exactly they differ okay first of all brute force approach let me just copy this before copying and moving on let me just quickly explain so start and end characters is equal to 0 x 128 okay so for then we have a for loop so this for loop is taking start end plus one okay so c is equal to s of y and over here you can see s is provided as hello this is the string we are taking uh, and so we want to check what is the uh, unrepeating character like length of the longest substring without repeating characters in this hello string so s is taken over here so c is equal to s of i first s of i would be zero so if s of i the first character would be h so h will be taken and h will be checked first then from h they go to e they go to l and when they come to the next l there would be repeating characters so the for loop would break it will come out and the length of s would be taken which would be three and then result is zero right now and then they go to another for loop and they do same thing in this case they check the next string in order to figure out and they return the result so now the result what would it be in this particular case it would be hel which would be three then they start from lo which would be two so hel is basically the longest substring without repeating characters um, yeah so that basically would be number three so there would be three let's see if that's the answer over here i'm going to paste run okay so three right uh what if i change this to scalar academy so the longest substring is six uh without repeating characters so in this case S C A L E R, then a is there so it is six so i think this is the longest one without repeating characters or even this academy also could be taken 
which is the again a longer substring without any repeating character so six is the right answer so now let's move on to the next part which is basically a sliding window approach see it's a much simpler approach in this they had to create uh, two different for loops in this they just have one nested for loop in order to do all the required actions so now uh sliding window py right so now let me run this so answer obviously should be three i think i didn't copy the part where we have provide the substring And now you can see hello. So the answer should obviously be three. Now let me do something else like hello scalar. Now it is seven. Okay, so sliding window works. And finally, the last method is optimized sliding window pasting it, running it. So the answer would be three. But the only way you can figure out if something is properly working is opening up your own terminal, uh, your own thing and check out how exactly the time varies for all of these, uh, right? So you can check out how exactly the information varies for all of this. Now, the normal approach, sliding window, an optimized sliding window. Uh, so this is basically the video. I hope you guys have understood again if you want to look at other implementations of code in java or c++ or other languages you can go check out the interview bit blog which is available in the description box below you can just click on it and you'll be taken over there uh, and yeah so all the other implementations are over there you can read about the problem and try to solve those uh, problems by solving it by yourself okay so that's basically it for this particular session guys thank you meet you in another session